Hey guys, Benji Million here. I thought I'd give my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch presentation that got uploaded yesterday. It was about an hour long, and I just watched it, you know, as soon as I got ready for bed. So, here's what I think about the uh, launch titles, the hardware... And, you know, some of the other stuff that they talked about. I guess if there was a place that I could find to begin to talk about, it would have to be the launch lineup. Breath of the Wild still looked promising, but I don't know how I feel about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Splatoon 2. About the original Splatoon and it had limited replayability. I played the original Splatoon for, I'd say, about maybe three months until you know the the fun just wore off it had a decent campaign mode but the online just didn't do it for me mario kart 8 deluxe on the other hand looks like it could have been a third dlc pack for the original mario kart 8 and i don't know it just seems upsetting that they didn't do that in the first place and it seems like a slap to the face to Wii U owners, like myself. As it'll have extra characters and tracks, as seen in the trailer. Mario Odyssey wasn't a launch title, but it did have an interesting trailer. The only thing I could have to nitpick about it was that uh, it should have been a launch title in the first place. Because the last Mario platformer that we got was Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U. And that was almost four years ago. But on the other hand, I'm looking forward to the third party support that Nintendo is getting for the console. So hopefully the library of Switch titles will get better later this year. Recently it was announced that online games will now be pay to play, and I didn't know how to feel about that. Ever since the Wii, online gaming was free of charge, whether you were playing games like Mario Kart Wii or Super Smash Bros. Brawl. But I just can't see myself paying to play a game with a friend because it's bad enough that Sony forced that with those that have a PlayStation Plus subscription. I don't mind purchasing a DLC add-on every now and then, but I think I might avoid online play for the system. As for the hardware, I'm kind of in the middle about it, just like I am with the launch games. Nintendo is still going with a motion control gimmick, and I'm not entirely comfortable with any games that will force it. Much like how Star Fox Zero was on the Wii U. And the battery life for the portable dock is set to range around 2-5 to five hours, depending on the games that are played. And I'm thankful that the info for it finally got addressed. As I wasn't the only one wondering about the battery hours when the original Switch trailer released. Hard drive storage for the console is coming back just like how it was for the Wii U. But like that console, it's still going to be 32 gigabytes. On a refreshing note, there's at least a micro SD card feature that can be used for external storage. Unlike how the Wii U needed a USB hard drive for that, so I'm looking forward to that feature. Lastly, I'm hoping that the rumor about Nintendo GameCube titles showing up on the digital shop will be true. Since the Switch will allow for portable play, I hope the virtual console titles will have that compatibility with that feature so I can take games like Super Smash Bros. Melee on the go. Overall, it was nice to get more news about the console than I thought. But at this point, I may or may not buy a Switch. Only time will tell if there will be more to offer for it in the future, but I think instead of pre-ordering one, I'll just wait and see the opinions on it from others who bought it and hear the experience with the games they've played before I choose to buy one myself. So with that said, this is Benjamin signing out.